assume a significance level of alpha equals 0 0.05 and use the given information to complete parts A and B below. The original claim states that the standard deviation of pulse rates of a certain group of adult males is more than 12 beats per minute. The hypothesis test results in a p-value of 0 0.2216. In part A, we want to state the conclusion about the null hypothesis, meaning reject the null or fail to reject the null. So first, let's state the claim in the opposite of the claim. So you can see here that we are stating that it's the standard deviation is more than 12. So sigma is going to be greater than 12. And therefore, the opposite of that claim is going to be sigma is less than or equal to 12. OK, now let's use that information to determine the uh, null and alternative hypothesis. OK, so we know that the null hypothesis always contains the equality. So we know the equality is in the opposite of the claim. So the standard deviation, population standard deviation is going to equal 12. And therefore the claim is going to have, the claim is going to be in the alternative where the alternative is the population standard deviation is greater than 12. And so what that means is, is that this is going to be a right tailed test because it is greater than in the alternative hypothesis. Okay, and then we're going to state the significance level which is given to be 0 0.05. Okay, and the test statistic is not given because we are given the p-value so it's irrelevant in this question. Now we do have the p-value so if we draw the bell curve we would know that it's a right tail. And we know that the p-value that's given in the right tail is given in the problem, which is 0 0.2216. OK, so now we're going to make a decision. OK, we reject the null if the p-value is less than or equal to the significance level alpha. And we fail to reject the null if the p-value is greater than the significant level of alpha. So we have the p-value of 0 0.2216, and the significance level is 0 0.05. So we see that the p-value is greater than the significance level. And if that is the case, then we fail to reject the null hypothesis. OK, so. Over here, we're going to fail to reject the null hypothesis, and that is because the p-value is greater than the significance level alpha. So let's go ahead and check that answer. Okay, now it says, without using technical terms, state a final conclusion that addresses the original claim, and which of the following is the correct conclusion. Okay, so let's take a look at our options. All right, so what we need to do is we need to take a look at Okay, the original claim. So does the original claim, okay, up here, does it contain an equal sign or not? Well, it does not contain the equal sign. So since it does not, that means that we can eliminate the ones that say it includes the equality sign. And now we need to determine, okay, well, it does not include the equality, and then what do we do? We fail to reject the null hypothesis, which is the second option. So therefore, we would say the following. It would be the original claim does not include the equality, and we fail to reject the null. So we would say that there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that, and then write the original claim. So we would say that there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that the standard deviation of the pulse rates of the group of adult males is more than 12 beats per minute. And therefore, that would be A.